Apex One Radio USA Apex One Radio In about two minutes from now, we'll be going live on Apex One Radio. And the program to be airing will be Apex Snapshot with our girl all the way from Germany, Queen C. Bell. Stay tuned to Apex One Radio and enjoy, people. Apex One Radio USA. Apex One Radio. The best in animation. Culture, sports, entertainment, interview, Apex One Radio. Apex One Radio, the best radio. We love African culture. greatest gift if you sing you have prayed twice good afternoon listeners of apex one radio in germany especially the ones who live in the western city of essen good afternoon africa and good morning listeners of the station in the united states of america Welcome to this live edition of Apex Snapshot. Today, we take you to the city of Essen in Germany, where we meet renowned Cameroonian gospel artist, Quincy Bell, who is at the verge of making public her new single. I Am a Champion is a product we are on radio today to present. Its author will be telling us a story about this track. Quincy Bell will be joining us after this first musical interlude. Stay tuned, people. This is Apex One Radio, and I'm your host, Caris Bell. No big up, where you for day, oh Now your grace, they do one for me, oh What's that to me, oh Now come out, celebrate Histoire, à lui va 
toute la gloire. Oh, eh, Seigneur m'a élevé, il m'a libéré, il m'a fortifié. Oh, eh, je suis plus que vainqueur en lui. À tous mes prix, elle dit oui. Venons célébrer, venons louer. Il n'a pas de gars, il n'a pas de gars. from SN Germany and she will be here to tell us about her new single I am a champion um before the break we promised that we'll be going all the way to Germany straight for to talk to um Quincy LaBelle and uh, yes she is hello Quincy hello hi Kalifa yeah how are you doing today Quincy I'm cool. I'm cool. Thank you so much. Love to hear from you, Carissa. Oh yeah, it's always a pleasure. So, how is Germany today? It's all right. 
it's very beautiful here in Germany today. The weather is very cool, and we are in about 24 degrees. Oh, 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 that's relatively very cold as compared to Ohio today. Um, so tell us about yourself. Tell us what do you want us to know about you. Um, I don't have much to say about myself. I'm just gonna say things to girls. It's my artistic name. Okay. And Queen Sibel is a young lady in her thirties. Okay. Who is born to make impact for gospel music. And she's gotten a great vision to see how she can use what God has placed in her to revive the youth in this generation to gospel. And Queen Sibel is an artist, like you know. Yeah. And she's a god caring lady. And she is a minister of God too, who loves preaching Jesus Christ, and she also loves singing, traveling in situations, in cities, organizing conferences, and musical conferences, of course. You know, bringing the youth together, putting challenge to the youth to make them know that they have something great in them, that God has placed something great, great in them, and they have to go into the world and make impact. Oh, wow, that's so impressive. That's very inspiring right there. So most of the times people say um, people get their inspiration, especially artists, they get their inspiration from uh, their background, like where they grew up and all of that. So would you want to share with us about um, your growing up? How was it like? Um, About my background, yeah, I know. <laughs> There is a saying that from grass to grace, you know, from nothing to something. And I'm going to say a little bit of my background is being not very good, very okay. But I want to bless God because I grew in Cameroon in the southwest province. I'm precisely from Kumba, Morocco. And uh, I'm not very, um, I'm not coming from a very wealthy background. And uh I am a, a, a child in the family of five. I'm the firstborn. My siblings, they are also in Cameroon now. And I live, of course, in Germany. And I can't really say I have a very good background, but God uses nothing to make it something. Amen. Today in my family, today in my family, my family is so proud of me because I stood with Jesus. I stood with God. And God has made me to become the stone that the builder rejects. And I've become the chief cornerstone today. And my family is very proud of me. Amen. Amen. I feel like, uh, I feel amen. the Holy Ghost moving right now. <laughs> amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, with all these uh, wonderful experiences you told us about, like what particular thing marked, um, made, a, made a mark in your, in your experience while you were growing up? Sorry? So with all these um, wonderful experiences you've talked about, what, which was that peculiar thing that, that made a mark in you while you were growing up? Yeah, it's, it's what, what, what made it very peculiar in my groove, I should say um, that should be more than 10, 15 years ago. Um, my youthful age in those days when I was still very, very young, I was a teenager, and uh, growing with your aunties, growing with your, living with your uncles and your aunties and some friends around, I had, I had really, a, a really a very bad life, I should say, you know, a life of suffering, a life of living a life of, you know, you can't be able to get a three square meal in a day. And uh, you, a life where you, 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 can't, you can't get up yourself like, like a young lady in those days. Maybe you have dresses to take care of yourself. You, you know, uh, it was very challenging. Yeah. You, you, you come back from school. You don't have uh, maybe enough to, to get to eat. Maybe you don't have uh, money to even take care of yourself. And maybe you just have to go to church. And the brethren in the church and the full gospel in those days will, will give me a helping hand. And it, I grew in that, those, those, those memories are really memories that really touched me. They touched my youthful age in those days. And it's never slept off my memory till today. So I want to praise God today. I'm really, really glad because he took me from there and he's made me something today. 
Amen. <laughs> yeah, that's really that's really very touching. Trust me, and um, that's a story that most people who grew up in the rural regions of uh, Cameroon and why not Africa would share. So thank you very much, Quincy. Um, after this musical break, we'll get right back to you. And um, yeah. Thank you, <laughs> If you are Thank just you. tuning in, then you are tuned to Apex One Radio and we are broadcasting live from Columbus, Ohio. Today, this 20th day of August 2016. The time by our studio clock is 13 minutes past 8 and the program on air is Apex Snapshot. And we are live in Germany with our girl, Queen Sibel. She is talking to us about her new single, which is about to be released, and the title is I Am a Champion. Welcome on board, people. It's a song by Alexis. Oh yes, no matter what you are going through, it's always all right with Jesus. Sometimes it just suffices to surrender all to the Savior and know it's all right. Inside Jesus, I'm living.
Hello, dear listeners of Apex One Radio. Before we went on the break, we were talking to our girl, Queen Sibel, all the way from Essen, Germany. And she has been talking to us about her single, which is about to release, and it's titled, I Am a Champion. Yes, you are a champion. There's a champion in everyone. Yeah, right, but now we'll be getting back to Essen to continue talking to um, Queen C. Labelle. Hello, Queen C. Hello. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, Quincy. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm so glad having you. It's fun here. Oh, yeah, we are so glad having you too. You're quite an inspiration, and so far, it's been really interesting talking to you. Yeah. Okay, Quincy. So, um, what drove you into gospel music? Yeah, <laughs> that's a very beautiful question. I think I like that. <laughs> you know, actually, what drove me into gospel, I've been somebody naturally, I think God had embedded music in me from my childhood. Because in those days when I was growing up, you know, I would listen to some songs like Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, you know, Michael Jackson, and I want to sing them too. But one thing that was very touching was this um, particular um, feeling in me that that grew so strong in me, letting me know that uh, I'm a supernatural being, you know, I was born to impact. So because I grew in the church and all my life I was in the church, I admired the way um, the church was, was, was going, the music in the church, you know, the words, the lyrics, and oh, the yeah. message and that were all going on in the church, in the choir in those days. And some other great music uh, uh, gospel artists like Shirley Caesar in, in, in America. And that pushed me to let me know that because God has made me. It means there is a greater purpose. There is a greater purpose out of just singing and pleasing people. But I think there is a greater purpose in me. I'm supposed to sing. I'm supposed to sing and impact to the world. You know, I'm supposed to sing and let music that I do transform somebody, no, let it bring hope to somebody, let it bring joy and peace to somebody. And so that stirred my spirit and pushed me to come to sing gospel, you know, to know that I have something bigger than just singing in me. So that's what actually swayed me into gospel totally. Okay. Okay. Right now, you know, um, growing up, our parents used to have this tendency that um, what you study in school is what is actually going to lead you into your career so what did you study in school and how does that affect your music now uh yeah actually when i was growing my childhood i always admired to become a journalist like you carissa you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that 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 was my dream my dream profession my dream career you know and uh I, I just have to admire to, to read, you know, to speak English, to always read, to, 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 to become a journalist. Oh, yeah. And when I was in, yeah, when I was in the secondary school and in the high school in GBHS Limba in those days, I, 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 I think I studied um, letters, yeah, how to call it, in, in the secondary school I studied um, A1, yeah, exactly, A1, A2, but that was in the A1, I was doing French and English, you know, with history. And so I really liked it so much. And I realized that this is art, and there's a lot of life in doing art. You know, when you do art, you know, art people, they are always very lively. So when I went to the university where I had to, 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 to go to do letters fully, so I had to do bilingual letters. So I studied bilingual letters, French and English, in the University of Chang in Cameroon. And I really liked it. And this had to draft me and swayed me into music because I think music is all, it's just about fun. And uh, especially gospel music, you know, it gives you life, it gives you assurance, and it gives you purpose. So I, I had to click all that together, doing what I love, uh, like, like a career in, in school, and also singing. So everything just blended together. 
Oh wow, that's so it's so it's so it's so interesting. Like one thing I, I, I've liked and I've really admired about you so far. Like I can't just help it. Let me just tell you, you speak with so much conviction. And um, in the world oh. where um, most of our youths are very brainwashed, it's really hard these days to find someone who is so so into what she does. And you, I can feel oh. the passion. Trust me. Thank oh, you very thank much, you Chrissy. So much. <laughs> that was just an aside. So, um, so far, how many songs have you composed? Yeah, I think I should say, um, by God's grace, I composed too many songs back when I was in Cameroon. I composed, say, more than 15 songs in those days, even though I was in my wilderness going through what I was going that by the help of the Holy Spirit, the Lord inspired my spirit so much, and I had about 15, more than 15 songs. And when I traveled abroad, I think I got more than 25, 30 songs, which, of course, not all of the songs is gone to CD, but I think I'm still working to that. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's so nice. So um, how many songs have you, how many of these songs you composed have you actually brought to light? Like, how many did you actually get into the studio and recorded and uh, out there? Yeah, actually, um, like in Cameroon, before I traveled from, from, from Africa, when I was in Cameroon, I had first album in Cameroon, but that wasn't, uh, that wasn't really gospel. You know, I was uh, with my uncle in those days, and... That's where the name came from, Quincy Bell, where we did a, a track of uh, uh, the rocker song in the dialect in Cameroon in those days, and it was played all over CRTV TV and Canal Zero in Cameroon. And the songs that were there, some were written, I wrote, I think I wrote one of the songs, about five songs, but four of the songs were written by my uncle in the dialect and all that. Okay. And then when I got here in Italy in 2010, I had about say, 25 songs. So when I went to the studio in Italy for the first time to get my songs on CD for the first time here in Europe, my own album, which was very gospel, like I have friends to do, I wanted to go with about 10 songs, you know, that uh -huh. the producer in the studio had to give me some advice, like commercial benefit advice, saying if I should go with 10, it's not going to be profitable for now, so I should go with 5 for a start, that would be better. So I went with 5. And I got the first album in Italy that was in 2012 or 13. I did five songs from the songs. And I've been doing the songs even when I go without recorded in studio, even when I go to concerts, to ministers, conferences, when I'm invited out, in and out, I still do the songs. But I've done five of the songs in Italy. Okay. Okay, wow, that's pretty interesting. And um, like most of the times, most artists, they first of all get involved in maybe the church choir and some of those groups, and then before they finally find a solo career. Do you happen to be one of those artists? To be in a local choir? Yeah, Are like you? were you involved in some kind of group before you moved to a solo career or you've just been solo all through? Yeah, yeah, uh, of course. When I was back in my country, in Cameroon, I was uh, I, I, I grew in the choir, of course, the church choir. I was trained there uh, where we had too many uh, song leaders and we were the backups in those days because we were still very young. <laughs> so we had a mass choir of, say, about uh, 30. Yeah, and I, I, I wasn't the main singer in those days, you know, because I was still coming up. But then sometimes, once in a while, the leader could push me to go ahead and sing and lead some songs. I was still, of course, very, very, very naive and very small and young. And back in Italy, I, in Jane Europe, I have been able to come with too many choirs. And I've sung with too many choirs um, in the uh, um, American gospel uh, artist. She's called Sherry Potter. She, she's really booming Italy in gospel, when you talk about gospel. She's an American, and she's married to an Italian. I've been able to work with her for say, a year, and I've been in her choir. They call them the Hallelujah Gospel Singers. I worked with her, I've been with her. She's very lovely. And in other churches, too, I've been able to participate in some choirs too, in other churches where I made some songs, and I also trained some singers and also impacted what God has placed in me and some of them, you know. 
So I've done that in Germany. I've done the same. I'm still with choir group, different group. And I also have a group here, a, a, a group here in Germany. They call the Glorious Harmony. We organize conferences and gospel conferences, worship nights, and all that. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's your yeah. life is pretty interesting. Trust me, I want to be like you. <laughs> anyway, Quincy, <laughs> on that note, we want to take a short musical break now. And when we come back, we'll be talking to you more about your career and your upcoming single, I Am a Champion. If you're just tuning in now, then you are tuned to Apex One Radio and we are broadcasting live from Columbus, Ohio, in the United United States of America. The time by our studio clock is exactly 8.30 a.m. And uh, we are taking a short musical break and we'll be right back on this program. Apex Snapshot. And we've been talking to Quincy Bell all the way from SN Germany. Stay tuned, people, and uh, stay blessed too. <laughs> so I have memories
after that beautiful piece from Mabel Boma and Inori Fosso, oh, who are getting right back to Germany to talk to um, Quincy Bell, who has been with us since morning, and she's been talking to us about this her beautiful single that she's about to release, and it's titled "I Am a Champion." Yes. She is a champion, and everybody can be a champion. Stay tuned, people, and uh, right now we are going right back to Germany to continue talking to this beautiful and talented God-fearing lady. Hello, Quincy. Hello, Kalisa. Oh, yeah, we are right back here. And um, if you're just yeah. tuning in, then you're tuned to Apex One Radio, and we are broadcasting live from Columbus, Ohio, today, the 20th of August, 2016. Yes, Quincy, um, it's been a very refreshing moment with you and I've enjoyed every bit of this interview so far. You are such an inspiration to the youths of Africa and even to the world at large. So right now, I would like to ask the question that almost everybody asks, like, why did you choose gospel music? Yeah, I choose gospel music because I love gospel. I love Jesus. He's my savior, and I have every reason to, to, to choose gospel and nothing else. Because in gospel, you have life. In gospel, you have everything. In gospel, you have a meaningful life, you know. In gospel, you have a purpose. In gospel, you have a direction. In gospel, you have a, you have a sense of living. You know, when you do music without any direction, you know, like the other music we do, of course, it's not, it's not bad. I don't condemn them. But what I'm saying, when you do gospel, you have a sense of living. You know, you have a sense of belonging. You, you, you have this confidence that, that grows in you. You know, you, you have this assurance that makes you feel that, you know, you have a greater life after this life we are living on earth. So you have a purpose. So I choose gospel because I love it. I love Jesus. You know, I, I, I know when I, when, when I sing, when I do gospel, I'm impacting to the world. I'm impacting to my generation. You know, there is something great I'm, I'm giving them. I'm, I'm challenging somebody to come out from that deep shit, you know, to come out from that mess, to come out from that situ- situation which that sounds meaningless and to have a life full of strength, a life full of focus, and a life full of vision and tomorrow. And so I went for God's own. Okay, like you've already answered part of what I was thinking of asking you next, but let me just go ahead and ask, maybe you can throw more light into that. Like when you're writing your songs, apart from what you just told us, like what are the kind of themes you, 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 you are thinking about? Like, is there a particular audience you're targeting? For example, some people will write their songs which are meant mostly to impart youth. Some will write their songs mainly for Christians. Some will write their songs mainly to draw people into Christ. Like, what are you thinking about when you compose that song? What do you think? Yeah, um, it, it, it's a very challenging question you're asking me, Carissa, but I like it. I, you know, I love challenges. Um, when I go writing music or writing my songs, one thing that comes into my mind, first of all, is to please God, you know, yeah. is to praise Him, you know, is to, is to see how great God is and how wonderful He is. And how how powerful he can, he can make me and and can give me the ability and the possibility to praise him, you know, to give him back what he is. That's the first thing that comes into my mind when I write my song, you know. And secondly, uh, what comes into my mind when I write my song is why am I writing this song? Am I writing this song because I just want to sing back to God, or I just want to sing to myself? Or I think I have the voice? No. I'm writing the song because I believe that I'm God's image. And being God's image, it means I carry something extraordinary, a supernatural being I am. And so through that song, God can use it to pass through me, to touch somebody who may have may have problems. You know, somebody who may not, who may not be having peace, is never an experience peace 
joy, happiness, stress, you know, depression, problems. It's not particularly to the youth or maybe to, to the adults, no. I write the song and my mind goes to the creature of God, to God's people in this life of today. I write the song so it can go to Africa. The Africans need to hear the song and get revived again, you know, and get inspired again and get meaning in their life. The Europeans have to listen to the song and come to understand that life is not just about money. Life is not just about, um, you know, living and going to work and having money. The life is about something else, you know. And even the Americans all over the world, I write the song to the youth, to the children, to the adults, to the elderly people and everybody. That's what comes in mind before I go write on a song. Okay, at this point, I really want to know how the song process goes like i've been i've ventured into a lot of things trust me music is <laughs> it's just not my thing so sorry like sometimes i really want to know like when you get an inspiration for a song do you put it down or do you just go straight to the studio and record it or how long does it take <laughs> you first of all to come up with a song Oh, yeah, <laughs> I understand. It, you know, I understand what you're talking about. You know, sometimes it's, it's very challenging, you know, when you have a song. I'm going to tell you a little short story that happened to me yesterday. You know, I was in a city somewhere, and I was just looking at the people around. You know, there was a crowd of people, and I was just looking at the people around. I was looking at the people around, and I was just seeing the beauty of God in them. You know, I was just looking at them, and I was like, oh, my God, they are so lovely. You know, and all of a sudden, I got this strong feeling in me to get a song, and I had a song immediately, you know, and the song came up, and thank God I had my phone beside me. So I just had to go in recording in my phone, and I recorded the song. You know, I recorded the song and I saved the song in my phone. So I keep the song there because when an inspiration of a song comes in your spirit at that time, you need to do something. Either you record the song and keep it, sing it somewhere and keep it, because maybe later after some time you may not remember, you know, the oh. song may not come up anymore. Wow, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you just so sit. That's what I do. So you just sit and see people and then get inspired. Yeah, you know, wow. I do that, you know, I do that m more frequently because <laughs> you, you, you can't imagine, Carissa, you know what, you know what's funny is um, there have been several times I've done songs like that five years, ten years ago. And later when the song comes up, maybe somebody sings the song to me and say, oh, Minister Bell, you know, you taught us this song. And I go like, me? Oh. I can't remember. I was the one she and they're going to say, yeah, you did. This song, you, you composed it and you taught us like this. You know why? Because inspiration, you know, we have a lot of greatness in us. And the Bible says, out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know, and so we carry a lot of mystery and greatness in us, which we don't know. And every day they are renewed. So inspiration, they come daily by God's grace, they come daily as you are focused on God. They come daily. And sometimes you forget what you've done because you are led by the Spirit of God, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's how it comes up. Yeah. So how was your first studio experience like? Like the first time you got into the studio where you never, like, <laughs> how, how, how did you feel <laughs> and how did you react and how did you come off to the other people? Yeah, yeah, that was very, very, uh, should I say, uh, 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 tragic or <laughs> comedic <laughs> feeling I have. <laughs> because in those days, that was in 20, 20, 200, 2004, sorry, that was in 2004 in, in Cameroon. That was my first time in, in, in going into the studio in Douala. And that was a very great and very big, large studio for my very first time, Studio Makati where I had to record my first album there in Cameroon, Batoba Oroko. That is the title of the, the album, Batoba Oroko. And What's I the meaning of the that, studio. please? Okay, Batoba Oroko, it means people of the Oroko tribe. You know, okay. Oroko is a tribe in the southwest in, in, in Cameroon. And uh, it means people of the Oroko tribe, you know. And... <laughs> I went to the studio in Douala and I met great artists, great Cameroonian artists. In those days, I was very, very young. I was very naive. I was very childish. I didn't know anything, you know. And when I got into the studio, it was so big. 
Uh-huh. It was so big and and you had mixed eyes, you know, big instruments and all that. And I was scared. I, I, I took fear and, and I was trembling. I was like, oh my God. And I asked my uncle, am I going to sing here? I, I, I can't believe it's me. I'm going to sing. I was trembling. I was really nervous. And you know, but there is something God placed in his children, the spirit of boldness, because the Bible says the righteous are bold like a lion, but the wicked flee when no man pursue them. Oh, so yes. I, 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 yeah, I got there with all boldness, even though I was trembling, I was very, very nervous, emotional, but I, I sang, and people, the people there, I met some, some musicians like, um, how they call Tom Young's, the late Tom Young's, and uh, <laughs> some other great, uh, my baby manga, the late baby manga, they were all in that studio, and and they were clapping for me, you know, Carissa, they were clapping, I was like, oh my God, it, 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 means, it means there is something, you know, that oh, it was yeah. really somehow uh, a funny experience, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, funny indeed. Yes, um, Quincy Bell will be taking a short musical break and we'll be right back with you. You're such an inspiration to talk to Quincy. And thank you, Carissa. I'm so glad, I'm so glad I have this opportunity to talk to you. So right now we'll have some short music, then we'll be right back. Okay. Adonai, le Dieu de toi, le roi qui existe par lui-même, tu es le Père de tous ceux qui ont le Fils en eux, Adonai, le Dieu redoutable, que tout l'honneur te revienne, que toute la gloire te revienne, merci d'accueillir ton peuple. Je voudrais rester longtemps pour recevoir 
2016. The time by our studio clock is exactly 8.54 and right now we are moving right back to Ace in Germany where we've been talking to Quincy Bell about her upcoming single I Am a Champion. Hello Quincy. Hello. Hello Quincy. Hello, Quincy. 
Sorry about that short technical fault. We'll get that straightened and we'll be right back with you in a minute. In the meantime, you can just continue listening to this wonderful single that our sister Quincy Bell has put out there. And hope you enjoy, hope you support, hope you, you, you get inspired by this young, beautiful and talented lady. It's titled, I Am a Champion. Thank you, Jesus. As I enter in his cards, I will rise up as eagles and soar with him on high. And as I enter in his room, I will be full of his power, and then I will be changed. I'm a champion. I'm a victor, I'm a success in I'm a winner, not a loser. I'm a conqueror in him. I'm a champion, I'm a victor, I'm a success in him. I'm a winner, not a loser. I'm a conqueror interrupting <laughs> yeah but you guys will get we get uh, to to listen to the whole single in just about a bit but for now we'll head right back to Essen to talk to um to Quincy Bell about this uh, coming upcoming single I am a champion hello Quincy Hello, Carissa. Yeah, sorry about uh, the technical hitch, but um, I'm sure our technicians are working on it and uh, will ensure that it doesn't happen again. So tell us about I'm a Champion. Like, when did you compose it? Yeah, I'm a Champion is just a mystery altogether, you know. It's, it's a wonderful piece, and I love it so much. And I'm a Champion... I, I, I composed it on the 31st of December 2015. You know, I was just um, I was just in, in, in the church that evening where uh, the keyboardist was playing something on the piano and he was just playing something and I don't know. <laughs> I have never had that feeling before. But a great inspiration came in me and I saw myself being a champion in all what I've passed through in my life, back from Cameroon, you know, my childhood age, how I grew up, you know, like, like a child who's been um, uh, an orphan, you know, growing in suffering, you know, a child who thought maybe her own, everything is finished, everything is, you know, she, she cannot be anything good in life. And I was just worshiping God on that 31st night, that was midnight, 31st uh, December 2015. And when this uh, keyboardist was playing, and all of a sudden the, the song came, the song just came, and I, I, I just had to get the lyrics, you know, just sudden. And I just, this, this lyric just came, as I enter in 2016, I will, I will, I will mount up with wings as eagles. Amen. You know, I will soar with God. I will soar with Jesus on high. I'm a champion. If God allows me to go through what I went through, and all the ups and downs of life, the great challenges I passed through in my tender age, you know, some of my friends, they passed away, and some of them, you know, it's God's grace keeping me, 
you know, it means I've been able to, to conquer. It means I'm a champion. It means I'm a conqueror. And this is what the Bible says. And this is what the Word of God says of us, children of God. And the song came up, and I got the lyrics, and I was so excited. And I just had to go immediately into my recording, my phone to record, and I kept it. And all of a sudden, I said, no, I have to go into the studio with this piece. There are so many of them already in the studio, more than five, six, I'm working. But I said, no, this one, I'm going to do with a single track. Because I was motivated by my father, my spiritual father, Dr. Bishop Boni Eta, who is based in Maryland in, in, in the USA. And he challenged me when I saw him in 2015. He told me, Bell, you are a champion. He said, Bell, you are a conqueror. He said, stand up and, and, and fly. He said, God has played something great in you, and God wants to use you. He, said, he encouraged me, you know. He said, forget about your message. Forget about whatever you're going through. Forget about what has happened. But stand up, because I see life and I see greatness in you. And all that clock together had to inspire me so mightily, and the song had to come up. Wow, <laughs> that's it's really it's really something to hold on to. So, um, from December thirty first to now, like, how long did you actually take to realize this project? Like, did you just get done with it as early as you could, or what's the length of time? What duration did it take you to get this project? Mm, the duration, the duration was say about two months because I started recording. Uh, this piece in the studio that was just last two months. You know, I when the song came up in December 2015, I I first of all had to keep it uh, and had to pray about it and I had to seek God's face and get up the lyrics and what is God telling me about the song? What is He saying this time around? So I had to take some time before going to recording. So I wouldn't go do things by myself. But God should back the the, the, the track. You know, so I had to start the recording that was uh, in May. Yeah, it was in May I started the recording. And by June, July, July ending, um, everything was done. And it, it, the track is <laughs> the track came out. And um, that was that. So I started putting things together to go working on the video of it. Oh, okay. That's that's really nice. We'll be waiting to uh, listen to the video when it eventually comes out. So um, right now, yeah. we'll be taking another short musical break. But right now, we'll be listening to I Am A Champion. I want to give you all a full dose of I Am A Champion. And I want you guys, everybody listening to us right now on APS1 Radio, to get out there and be a champion in Jesus' name. <laughs> we'll be right back with you, uh, Queen C. LaBelle. Stay tuned to Apex One Radio. And if you're just tuning in, the program on air right now is Apex Snapshot. And we've been talking to Queen C. LaBelle since 8 a.m. And the time by our studio clock is exactly two minutes past nine. And we're broadcasting live from Columbus, Ohio, in the United States of America. Stay tuned, people, and uh, enjoy this piece titled I am a champion Ooh, hallelujah. thank you Jesus yes. as I enter in this car I will rise up as eagles and soar with him on high. And as I enter in this room, I will be full of his power. And then I will be changed. I'm a champion. I'm a victor. I'm a success. I'm a winner, not a loser. I'm a conqueror in him. I'm a champion. I'm a victor. I'm a success in him. I'm a winner, not a loser. I'm a conqueror in him. Titled I 
of it and um if you want to be a christian make sure you be a best christian i know there's no best christian but try the most you can to make sure you you abide to god and he's gonna abide in you oh god i'm so very happy about today i'm so very happy talking to queen c bell this girl she's an inspiration and um it's been a pleasure having her here and i know we're still gonna talk to her some more but i just want to throw more light into to this whole uh, project or what we've been talking about if you're just listening to us 
you are here on Apex One Radio and the program on air is Apex Snapshot. And we've been talking to this beautiful and talented Cameroonian gospel artist who's based in Germany. And um, she's called Quincy Bell. And um, she's been a, a gospel artist for quite some time now. And uh, she's got this new single titled I Am A Champion, which is going to release next week. But first, she said she want to give a stop at Apex One Radio so we could get a first-hand taste of this single before it goes out there in the community so right now i would want to play this single again and in about a minute we'll be going right back to germany to um talk to queen syllabelle once more and um yeah in a bit <laughs> stay blessed and stay tuned to apex one radio people <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. As I enter in his cards, I will rise up as eagles and soar with him on high. And as I enter in his room, I will be full of his power And then I will be changed I'm a champion, I'm a victor I'm a success in him I'm a winner, not a loser I'm a conqueror in him Sometimes when you feel really down, when you feel like everything is over, it's always very important that you remind yourself that you are a champion, you are a victor, and you can get through it by the grace of God. I'm a One radio, welcome back, champions of Apex One Radio. Um, yeah, before we went on this short musical break, we were talking about being a champion and we were talking about staying strong no matter what you're going through. And uh, right now, the author of the song I Am a Champion is back to throw more light on how it was working on this project, the challenges she faced, and um. What is the way ahead for her as a gospel artist based in Europe, which the main language she speaks is English, and most European countries don't speak English. The challenges she faces as an English-speaking gospel artist from Africa in Europe. Hello, Quincy. Hello, Carita. Yeah, like listening to this song, I Am a Champion, you must guess that a lot of work was put in for this song to really come to light. Like financially, was it really a pin in the neck for you? Um, actually, Carita, I'm going to really tell you it's a great testimony, you know, I know listening to the piece and the technical um, uh, involvement in the sound and everything is really that rich. But what I want to say, God had to favor me. God favored me, and I, I came in contact with a, a, a producer, Quartman Studio. It's, it's a Quartman production in his studio. This is a young Ghanaian uh, 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 guy 
he, he is based in Germany. And when I, I went to his studio and I told him, I want to do a recording of my, my next album, but I want to do this track for a single release first before the complete album comes. And he told me, wow, he, he feels in his spirit he's going to be a blessing to me. So I shouldn't bother about the money. I shouldn't bother about uh, the video. He's going to do the video for me like a, a gift. Wow. You know, and like a bonus, yeah. And for the for the for the tr for the album, of course, I'm gonna pay everything for the album. But for this single release, he's really gonna put himself into it and see that it comes the best. So it's gonna be like a bonus. So all the sound and the technical arrangements, he had to do that together with one good friend of mine, brother Dan Davis. They worked together and they had to put everything together. I just came and sang and they were just coordinating me, you know, sing like this, you know, in this place. They had arranged everything and it was just so awesome. And God in his making and in his arrangement, you know, he took he took he took charge of it. The produ the producer Quasman, he took charge of it and he had to give his best in everything he, he put in and the sound had to come up this way. Myself, I was so amazed when I, when I got it at the end. I was like, wow, wow, thank you, Jesus. This should be your favor. Amen. Yeah. And, um, like, sometimes I, like, right now I was wondering, you living in Germany and um, as an English-speaking artist from Africa, do you sometimes, like, face those challenges when you go out there to put your songs out? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> that that uh, you know, but I see it to me I see like a training, you know, the challenges are really high, but because I'm a language student, of course, uh, a Cameroonian who is gotten French and English and living in Italy, I studied Italian language and I also got Italian, French, English and Italian. Okay. In Germany it's it's been a challenge to me in, in the first part when I came, the language and all of its grammatical technologies i should say <laughs> and the verbs and the construction everything put together you know german language is somehow a little bit uh, uh, so vague so broad and really so challenging but i i should say thank god for uh, the entourage i met here you know uh, the english speaking ones and even some germans uh, i came across they speak english too and you know, even going out, maybe in some cities, organizing my concert, I bless God because those I work with, like some singers, my singers I work with, they speak both German and English. Okay. So when I go out in English, maybe speaking in English, they do the interpretation from English to German. So uh, the challenge is not really so much on me, even though I'm still into studying the language because for, for to study a German language, you need to take so much time, you know. So I'm still into it, studying the language and trying to see how to put things together. But God blessed me so much that the entourage I work with, like the singers and the musicians, when we go in some cities to do some songs, they are there. They can help me to interpret, you know. Oh, sometimes I do it in English, and the Germans themselves, they, they love it. Mm -hmm. They figure it out. They love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay and um also i would like to know like um looking at the the gospel market back in africa uh do you and also those in the diaspora do you like look forward to working with some fellow cameroonian gospel artists like a collabo or something yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Really, I'm targeting that too, you know. I pray by God's grace I could be able to also go back to Cameroon and do a launching there, you know, a launching of the album and even also the, the single release. So I'm working towards that, you know, because I know I, you can never forget where you're coming from, you know. Cameroon is my country and I love Cameroon so much. So I'm looking forward, by God's grace, to put things in order so I could go back there to get um, some some um, musical, uh, um, I don't know, people who could help me, some sales points, 
there in Cameroon, you know, to do some sales and promotion and all that. So all that is in my mind. I'm putting everything together. Okay, as we draw very, very, very close to the end of this interview, is there, like, how people, I know a lot of people, you wouldn't imagine how many people are listening to you right now. Like, they are just like, oh, my God, I love this single. How do I get it? How do I get in contact with you if I need you to come sing at my show or at my event? Can you please show yeah. out those contacts, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I know, okay? I know very well. And since this is a single track, because it's not yet a complete album, and it's just a single track, you know, um, you can get it on, like, an MP3. You can get it on iTunes, on iTunes distributing to Amazon. You know, all the social network points out there. You can get the song there online, you know, even on Facebook and even on YouTube, we can get it because it's just a single track. Just okay, so you can just track. type in I am a champion and by Quincy Bell and yeah, everything exactly. just pops up. Oh, okay, 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 exactly. people, Beautiful. hope you hear yeah, that. You just sign in Quincy Bell, I am a champion on iTunes, on Amazon, you just get it direct to you. Okay, what about if someone want to invite you to perform at maybe a conference or something, how do they get to you? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, that's great. Anybody who want to maybe contact me, I'm very available. I speak to you right now. I'm very available. I'm a missionary. I'm a gospel artist. I'm a, I'm a minister of God. I love traveling. So I'm very available. You can contact me on, on Facebook, Quincy Bell. Go on Facebook and write Quincy Bell. There you get my email. You, you can get all my contacts. And there you can just join me on Facebook. You get every detail of me. If you really want to invite me, I'm available. Okay, Missionary Quincy Bell, it's been a great pleasure talking to you this morning. And trust me, you can't leave us like that now. So throw a little bit of acapella <laughs> for all these people who have been listening to you for over an hour now. Throw us something, sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's very lovely, you know, I'm so amazed and I'm so excited, I'm so privileged, you know, to, to talk to you, Carissa Labelle, you know, you are so wonderful, you are so awesome, I really thank you for the privilege you've given me to speak on air with you through this uh, Radio 1 Apex, I'm so glad, thank you, Enes. I'm so glad. All the, 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 the crew over there, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are doing a great job. You know, I love singing, and I, I think I was born just to do that. That's my purpose. I was born to sing. And uh, actually, like I said, I'm in, I'm in studio now, and I'm, I'm going to go record some songs, but I want to sing one of them. Oh, okay. Which says, um, yeah, which says, uh, um, God, the Lord our God is a wonderful God. He's a great God. He reigns and he lives on high. You know, he, he lives on high. He, 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 he has blessed us and he is our God and he is awesome. Everything we see around us is about him. Amen. He reigns and he reigns and he's going to reign. He reigns yesterday, today, tomorrow, and he's reigning. He's going to reign forever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The Lord our God. He's so wonderful, God. He reigns and lives on high. The Lord, our God, He's so wonderful, God. He reigns and lives on high. He reigns. He reigns, he reigns, and lives on high. Jesus reigns, he reigns, he reigns, and lives on high. In Africa he reigns. He reigns, in America he reigns, he reigns, and he reigns, he reigns, and lives on high, in Europe he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, yes, he reigns. And he lives on high. Hallelujah. He reigns 
Si rain, si rain. Oh yeah, that I got goosebumps all over my skin. Trust me, that was really a very beautiful you, piece there from you, Queen Sibel. It's been a pleasure talking to you all morning, and I hope to talk to you again when the video of this very beautiful single comes up. Anyways. Right now, we'll Thank be you. pulling the curtains of this show. And um, I want to thank all of those who have been listening to us from various parts of the world, from Europe, from Africa, from America, from Asia, wherever you are at, wherever you've been listening to us from. I want to thank you very much, and I appreciate your support to Apex One Radio. And um, keep listening to us with that beautiful piece of music. This is how we come to the end of this live edition of Apex Snapshot. Many thanks to everyone. I mean, everyone who has listening, uh, who has been listening to us. And uh, this live edition of Apex One Radio was monitored by the entire Apex One Radio team. We had more support from Frank of Faith. The show was produced by Master Attic all the way in Switzerland. And um, for my studio, it has been NS Kenjo for technical support. And um, yeah, my name is Carissa LaBelle, and I have been your humble host on this edition of Apex Snapshot. And I pray that God bless you and God gives you the grace to carry out your daily duties. Go out there and be a champion, people. Keep soaring. God loves you. Ooh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Apex One Radio is your radio. Thanks for staying on board with us. You can always reach our studio at 614-525-9398. Again, the number is 614-525-9398. We thank you and 